and welcome my name is Melanie Josephine if you're new welcome I already said welcome anyway <laughs> let's get down to business today is a fun video let's manifest together sorry for the lighting um, but we can enjoy a little bit of sunshine together um, get your tea get your coffee and here this is very important get a um, an empty glass and a glass with a little bit of water maybe not too full and i thought this would be something fun that we can do together and the very first thing you need to do is think about the one thing the one thing that you want to manifest something maybe a goal this year um, but don't make it 10 like one big goal so that you can condense your energy and your focus to this goal so that you have the best chance of achieving it how beautifully said isn't it so yesterday I was thinking like oh, I want to do this video tomorrow and then I thought okay what can I do with everyone and I had like two ideas and I was like I cannot do this video and then I found this piece of paper where a while ago I had already written down all my ideas and I completely forgot about it and I'm like ooh, okay I can do this video today lovely all right so let's begin um, some of the things that you do for manifestation I can't really do so well in this video because I can't sit down here and meditate 45 minutes because it's gonna be super boring for you but some of the things that are shorter we are going to do together so if you've got that goal in your mind the thing that you want to manifest into your life this year in 2021 um, what we are going to do first actually for this exercise you didn't need your goal but it doesn't matter um, so I can't even remember where I read this. I think I read this in a book. I think I read this maybe in um, get no lucky b dot dot dot. Um, so it is lo sending love bombs to other people. So. And maybe even, and wish them well, and maybe even people that you don't even like. Okay, let's begin with somebody that you do like. Think of, so why are we doing this? Okay, we're doing this because when you want to manifest something, it is important to be in a high vibration. And feelings of love, feelings of gratitude or wishing others well bring really high vibration to our body, to our energy field. So therefore, this is an exercise that we're doing together today. So think of one person that you want to send some love. Pick someone. Okay, I've got somebody. And let's just close our eyes and for a second send them some love. really see how they receive it and how it makes them feel better and how they smile <sighs> all right open your eyes and now think of a person that you either don't like you struggle with you recently had an argument with or somebody you find really annoying I can't even think of somebody. Wait, who do I find annoying? I find this pandemic annoying. <laughs> oh my gosh, I cannot send this virus any love. Sorry, I cannot. Okay, I need to find a person that I don't like. Okay, I found someone. All right, ready? Close your eyes. Put your hands on your heart and let's send this person that we don't like some love. See how they receive it, see how they smile, see how their heart lights up and they become a different person. They say please and thank you and they ask you how you are the next time they see you. Open your eyes. 
Okay, the next one I want to do with you. I can't remember what it's called, but you have to have these glasses. So um, I didn't put any post-its on here. So what are you supposed to do? But you don't have to do this right now. You can just do this in your imagination, just like I am right now. So, um, so one glass is your current situation and one glass is your future situation. So the one with the water is your current situation and your future is your goal, your future situation because your success is inevitable. So um, I'm thinking of where I am right now with my goal and then I'm thinking of where I want to be and then for the exercise that we're about to do together you're, you're gonna pour the water into your future glass and you have to do this in a very present state with a very present mindset really hearing the water drip down make it a little bit of cheesy and um yeah just have fun with it uh and then when it's in there you drink it uh, but while you pour it while you're being really present you raise your energy to how you would feel if you had already achieved your goal and then when you're drinking that water you are embodying your future and I think there is a movie called what the bleep or what the bleep do we, I don't know it's by Dr. Joel Spencer I actually haven't seen this movie but I had I've heard in, in interviews that apparently we can even like change the energy of the water which is basically what we're doing now when when we send this water our future energy then it's gonna have a different energy hopefully okay let's do this together for a few seconds we focus on where we are and then we take the empty glass and we focus on our future bring that positive emotion up And now we're going to pour the water. And now we're going to drink it. Embody your future. I've already achieved it. It is already mine. My success is inevitable. You know, I actually had to drink that really quickly because I put some apple cider vinegar in there and you just have to drink that very fast when you do that. It's good to, it's good for your health, it's good for your microbiomes, your gut. Do it. Um, okay, we're gonna do a little bit of scripting together. Get your scripting book out and I'm going to write my money goal and you're going to write your goal. If it's your goal to earn uh, 100,000k this year, you're going to write I am 100k Oyana. If it's your goal to uh, attract a relationship, I mean you have to put it in your words, the ones that resonate with you, but you could write something like I'm so happy and grateful to be with my loving partner, with my loving and kind partner who is so kind to me. I don't know how many times I've said kind now, but it doesn't matter. And then, um, or any other goal, but write it in the present tense as if you have already achieved it. Now we're going to do this three times. Let's do it. I am writing mine down. I have finish my first sentence actually what I'm currently doing I am writing my goal down every single day of the year this year um, I haven't done it for a few days I must admit but I do think about it every day I think that writing your goal down every day sounds so simple and then and then sometimes we feel like it's so simple that we 
but we don't do it. I think this is what with a lot of things that we wanna do and we're like, oh yeah, I can do that. But then when we don't write it down or we don't put a, a timer or a memory or something, then we forget that if you write down your goal every single day this year, you are getting so much closer to your goal because um, ultimately it's all about your thoughts. Your thoughts always trickle down into your result line if you know the model by Brooke Castillo, if not, look it up. Um, but it's just, our thoughts are so, so important. I mean, that's why we're doing, we're doing this manifestation work for the energy because when you change your energy, you change your life. But we, like for example, this exercise, it is to, change your thoughts because when you change your thoughts you change your reality ultimately a good question to ask yourself is um, at what percentage do I believe this yet let's say you take um, your the sentence that you just written down ask yourself to what percentage do I believe that this is going to be true for me and this is very interesting because when my coach asked me this in the beginning of December, I had never asked myself this question, but the answer was 10%. So, so low. I had like almost no belief in it. And now that I'm doing this work every single day, writing my down, my goal down every single day, or if I don't do it one day, okay, I get on, on track again the next day. But what I've noticed is that my belief has now grown to 50-60% in two months. So that's really amazing. That's a really short period of time of changing my belief. And as this year goes on, as I'm writing down my beliefs every single day, I am... Because beliefs ultimately are just thoughts that we keep thinking. And if we continue to think thoughts that are not serving us, then we're not creating what we want to create. But you already know this, I'm sure. So let's carry on with our little manifestation session. What else have I got? Um, let's do the 17 second rule. I've never done it actually. Well, not consciously, I have done it. Because I have set, um, oh my gosh, I've never put s seconds in my timer. I've only put minutes. Okay, 17. Okay, I have put my timer. I don't know if you can see it, probably not. It's terrible lighting, sorry. Um, but I put 17 seconds. And I was gonna say when you're ready. Well, I don't know when you're gonna be ready, but um, when I say start, I'm gonna press start. I'm gonna close my eyes. You're gonna close your eyes. And you're going to think of your goal and how you've achieved it and how you feel. <clears throat> so, ready? Steady, go. Oh my gosh, <laughs> it scared me. <laughs> no way, two, two, two. Oh my gosh, angel numbers on like exactly the, the 17 seconds. I can't believe it. Um, all right, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, so I could honestly feel the energy changing in those 70 seconds, but it went really quickly. I felt like it was three seconds, crazy. Um, oh yeah, we're gonna do a little gratitude practice. Write down five things you're grateful for. Okay, I am currently grateful for the sun shining. I am grateful for the coffee I am about to drink. To make, I haven't made it yet. I am grateful for i'm at my third now um i'm grateful for the beautiful 
house I live in. And then two more, I am grateful for um, I'm grateful for the cat I live with. Oh, I now know something else. I am grateful for the beautiful Valentine's Day card I received yesterday. What are your five things? Let me know in the comments. What are you, even if you just write three, you don't have to write all five. Um, now, I think, yeah, okay, let's do something fun. I have got the Rumi Oracle set. And what I wanna do with you guys is draw a card for all of us. So I'm going to ask the universe to give us a card that we need as a collective everybody like me and everybody watching this this i don't know if you know this oracle this Rumi oracle is beautiful <laughs> but the language can sometimes be a bit tricky to understand um so we'll see how much of, of the card we're going to read but yeah okay i'm going to ask the universe Universe, please give us the card that we need as a collective. I'm going to spread the cards out. You can't see it, but I'm going to spread the cards out. And I'm going to draw one for us. For us as a community. All right. I got it. I got it. <gasps> No way. How funny, after we had this drink together. So this card is card 32. She offers the sacred wine, so drink. Okay, let's see what this means. Number 32. I have to find the page. 32. Nearly there. There. Okay, what does that mean? Okay. Beloved, you are being offered a gift that is beyond your understanding. This gift is from the, the hand of the Divine Beloved, an offering to you that will lift you beyond what you have known into the next opening of your inner eye, of your heart, of your soul so that it may caress the earth with the light of heaven. Now there's more to this. It usually um, this oracle that is quite detailed. I can't read all of it to you, but I think it's, it's so amazing that I drew this one because it's so divine um, because this is a manifest, like let's manifest together video and it's offering us such a beautiful beautiful oracle card with a gift to us and that means like the gift of manifestation beautiful absolutely love it if you want to do this again you can watch this video over and over again you can manifest with me if you like this video give it a thumbs up let me know in the comments if you like this if you maybe want to do it again or something similar or if you have any other video suggestions i am open to that um yeah i hope you're having a wonderful day with lots of love and lots of sunshine and lots of high vibrations and yeah i'm sending you lots of love and see you in my next video bye